man kiss my ass. Woo! Red Solo Cup. that uh, when the uh, parade gets down here, we're going to have the national anthem. It's going to be sung by Amanda Ferris, an RTCC, RUHS graduate, who's going to be a senior at Paul Smith's College next year. And Amanda's been singing the anthem for sports events at RUHS for a long time and a couple of years for us. So we're going to hear that just as soon as the color guard gets down the hill. Remember, there's lots of stuff going on this afternoon. We've got the John Lackard Blues Band playing from noon till 3. There's a bouncy house, face painting, food trucks, Babe's Beer garden uh the fish and game club duck race all sorts of things we'll talk about some more of those a little bit later notice for the first time we don't have the uh, police leading off the parade this year that's because chief scott decided that he was better off bringing up the rear this year and making things safe so our lead car this year is our grand marshals and it's rat and nancy Tabor who have contributed so much to our community over the years we love them we honor them for their service to all of us rat and nancy are chauffeured by janet miller driving a classic model a coupe replica with a rumble seat that just happens to be owned by Rat. Let's hear it for Rat and Nancy Tabor, this year's Grand Marshals. <laughs> Following them is the American Legion Post 9 Color Guard, our local veterans color guard honoring men and women who have served in all branches of the services. We thank them for all they've done and continue to do. This guy, these guys are up at the Veterans Cemetery almost every day. They give us hope and a reason to carry on, a free nation and a vital community. As the flag passes, please stand or doff your hats. And we're gonna have them pause in front of the reviewing stand so we can have the national anthem sung by Amanda Ferris. So please, if you are able, rise for the national anthem. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gently streaming and the rock had red glare the bombs bursting American Legion, post nine, from Randolph.
Billy, keep your eyes on the road. <laughs> That's Bill Lynch in that first Jeep. A hearty welcome to Dennis Backus, Commander of the Disabled Veterans of America, and his wife Doris Backus, past commander of the Disabled Veterans of America Auxiliary. Thank you for helping to keep America safe, and thank you for being in the parade today with us. As they come into the square, the Catamount Pipe Band, Vermont's premier Scottish bag pipe band, intergenerational organization dedicated to the preservation and promotion of Celtic music and culture. In addition to enriching the community as cultural ambassadors, they're committed to honoring their skills through performance and competition without compromising their values of fair play and teamsmanship. The Catamount Pipe Band. fire department full of energy for all those who need help here's a bit of history in 1736 benjamin franklin recommended the formation of a volunteer fighting fighting force called the union fire company which served on as america's first volunteer chief ben franklin did but we've got our own right here in randolph the randolph village fire department our friends from Bethel. The Bethel Fire Department has always worked together for all of us and their rescue truck and tanker, the Bethel Fire Department. The Rogers family up there in that nice new tanker, the little one. Has a little... Jason, is that you with the pacifier here, kid? for all the goodies. Brookfield's Volunteer Fire Department is next in this lineup of brave firefighters. We love their timeless energy and their good neighborship that we have, the Brookfield Fire Department. to Valley Bowl. Not just bowling, they've got classic diner food at the Prince Street Cafe there. Bowling at the Valley Bowl is as made in America as it gets. It's just like baseball and hot dogs and apple pie and Chevrolet. Valley Bowl presents a group of athletes from the Randolph Area Special Olympics program. Joined by members of the championship bowling team, it's Valley Bowl and the Prince Street Cafe. Let's hear it for them. Great to hear, Norm. Leanne is our waitress. 
The guy sitting at the table, our customer, his name is James Barry. He came down to our place a couple months ago and enrolled in eight hundred and ninety series. team on their float. Gifford is proud to be part of this community, caring for generations of your family for over 120 years and counting. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Gifford Healthcare. Trucking LLC. They're here for you delivering Made in America soil, sand, and stay mat for all your driveway and yard needs. Just give them a shout at Williams Trucking and Delivery.
them out. It's the Central Mont Cal Ripken All-Star Baseball Team, the 10 and under and 12 and under Central Mont Cal Ripkins All-Star Baseball Teams are state champions this year and they're headed to the regionals. They're accompanied by their coaches and you know baseball is as made in the USA as it gets and it's really strong here in Central Vermont, the Cal Ripken All-Star Baseball Team. The seasonal campers at Able Mountain Campground are love to share their camping experience. A great way to vacation anytime. Although camping did not start in America, we celebrate as a tradition in the USA. Taking the festivities at the rec field, head on up to 28 Pleasant Street right here behind us where you'll find many appealing books. The sale is from 9 to 2 today, the Friends of Kimball Library. It's the Bethany Peace Doves. They're a worldwide symbol representing something we could all use a bit more of these days. We honor all efforts to promote peace in our world. It's the Bethany Peace Doves.
institution partnering with local farms to represent agriculture, made in the USA, and also made in agriculture. It's the original made in America agriculture, and we welcome Farm Credit East ACA to Randolph today to remind us the importance of agriculture in our lives, especially here in Randolph. Right tight behind them is an agricultural powerhouse, the Silhouettes, joining other local agricultural families to celebrate ag in central Vermont. Third generation organic family farms been working hard since 1940. They pride themselves producing the finest quality milk so we can all know where our food comes from. And don't forget the minis of Silhouette Farm. Peaches, Patsy, and Priscilla. Have them at your next event. They're sure to draw a crowd. And stay tuned for baby minis coming next year. There we go, it's Peaches, Patsy, Priscilla, well, John. <laughs> we won't count you as a mini. Hey, it's the Lincoln Farm. Timber harvesting and sugar makers, Sam and Ashley Lincoln, Lincoln Farm Timber Harvesting, hauling a load of firewood processed at their Randolph Center Farm, harvested at the family's master logger certified logging operation. That's what we call American-made wood energy. Renewable, eco-friendly, cost-effective heating fuel to help keep our local families healthy supports our working land. Lincoln Timber Farm was recognized as Vermont's 2024 Logging Contractor of the Year by the Professional Logging Contractors of the Northeast. And that's uh, 24 or 420, depending by Matt, a seventh generation of modern. That was made in Waterloo, Iowa in 1970, considered to be the most popular John Deere tractor ever made, a real classic. Lincoln Sugar Makers, John is the proprietor of Lincoln Sugar Makers in Randolph Center. He's towing a model sugaring arch, which is used to, of course, boil down sap into syrup. American maple products are a natural sweetener used by consumers around the globe and Vermont leads the nation in production. John's a proud fourth generation sugar maker, maker and uh, he's been owning it. He owned it since he was a freshman in high school. Let's hear it for Lincoln Sugar Makers Logging and Timber Harvest. White Rock Farm and Lumber. White Rock Farm and Lumber presents a USA-made tractor, locally-made products, cows, lumber, hay, and people. It's a great combination over at White Rock Farm and Lumber. Solar, who brings decades of skill, experience, and enthusiasm to both residential and commercial solar. A celebration of renewable energy. They're right here. They're local. Contact them anytime you want. Right here at 728-3600. It's Catamount Solar. The White River Valley Ramblers Snowmobile Club. Greetings to them. And you're looking at a mix of new and old American-made snowmobiles with their riders taking a break around a fire, cooking some hot dogs. What could be more American? And Chimney Savers is here, another local company. Show us their recognition and appreciation for all things made in the USA. And uh, what a team it is. If you're looking for a great place to work, they're always looking for some folks. It's Chimney Savers. And this little guy, Silas, is my grandson, so. Randolph Mine. 
Miners Baseball Blue. The Randolph Miners Baseball team went to the tournament this year, and uh, we're all very proud of them. It's Randolph Miners Baseball Blue. Let's hear it for them. And it's the Cub Scouts. It's Pack 202. They're happy to be here today. Scouting is building a better America, one kid at a time. So join scouting. It's a great way for your kids to grow up learning about the American way of life. It's Team Tabor Racing. Got their race cars, and we wish Keegan a lot of luck with his racing this season. You can probably find him at Thunder Road at some point. It's uh, Team Tabor, number 74. with music that makes you want to dance right along with them. A powerful American tradition. Go John! And well, I've got a couple of seconds. I want to remind folks that that train will be coming before too, too long. So just remember to stay on the opposite sides of those gates, all right? It's Logan's Property Maintenance, and they wish everybody a glorious Independence Day. So you can call LPM any day. They've got the equipment for all your needs. They'll come do a great job. You need some land cleared, brush cleared. They'll take it all. They'll redo your driveway, your walkway, whatever you need done. It's Logan's Property Maintenance. to mention that they also do power washing when I talked about everything else. LPM will do that as well. So if you've got something that needs power washing, there you go. It's Ted Green Ford in that great new 2024 Ford Bronco made in Wayne, Michigan. It's also for sale, of course, at the oldest, get that, the oldest Ford dealership in New England. Five generations strong. What a pretty color on that Ford Bronco from Ted Green Ford. the Randolph 
12th area food shelf. And seriously, folks, I can't tell you how important the food shelf is to our community. And I got to tell you, Carol Bushy from the Frankenberg Agency there. Carol, I meet her in stores all over the Upper Valley, Lower Valley. She's out shopping for the food shelf all the time. And uh, it's extremely important to our community. They thank us for the support, but we thank them for being there. For those in need, it's the Randolph Area Food Shelf. It's the Green Mountain Crawlers, and this collection of off-road vehicles made in the USA are super talented at all their maneuvers. We're going to get to see some of that. It's awful fun to watch. The Green Mountain Crawlers. Fellowship of Randolph, Baptist Fellowship of Randolph celebrates everything made in the USA, and we're loving to hear them. sunglasses. Matco Tools is the number two seller of Oakleys in the nation. So if you need your Oakleys, stop and call Tim. And also, Timmy Parker sells some of the best toolboxes that are made in the USA right over in Jamestown, New York. Matco Tools, Tim Parker. He took a leap of faith uh, two years ago and jumped into his own business. We're glad to have him here with us today. Tim Parker, thanks for all you do. the Chandler Youth Production, The Little Mermaid Youth Theater made in the USA. We welcome the cast and producers and helpers of The Little Mermaid Under the Sea.
for coming. We look forward to conversing with all of you about the issues of the day here in Randolph, Vermont. Happy Independence Day, everybody. the grace you've been saved through faith, the Grace Christian Church is with us today wishing everyone a wonderful Independence Day celebration. at Farm All Fix atop that iconic Gladiola Farm tractor made in the USA. Mike is leading the way for the Central Vermont Tractor Club with a line of antique tractors. We celebrate the long history of farm equipment and farmers. These tractors are all USA made and we commend the people who keep them going and those who are still using them in agriculture. Farm All Fix and the Central Vermont Tractor Club. I don't think that umbrella was original equipment. trucks today and they have trained in swift water uh, they're learning some high angle rescue now I've had the uh, pleasure of training them over the last few weeks I was there last week what a great bunch the South Royalton Fire Department Thank you. 
The Arts Bus is celebrating friendship made in the USA 2024. This year's parade entry features the debut of its new mini bus with uh, June Moloff riding in the passenger seat and young and wildly talented Randolph area artist and grand prize winner of the mini bus creative character contest with two original drawings on either side of the mini bus, Shaggy the spinning sheep and the utterly artistic sisters. Behind the art bus would normally be the big beloved bus, but unfortunately it broke down yesterday. The art bus called a friend and Shangra's trucking came to help out. And the float is full of BFFs dancing and singing along the music of America. Taylor Swift and her songs that bring out the bestie in all of us while tossing bestie bracelets and friend LEI flowers to adorn old friends and make new ones. It's the art bus. It's the Randolph Center Fire Department. They're kind of just going to hang tight because the train is coming. So if you are anywhere near the tracks, please step back. Now, when the train comes into view, I want everybody to have holler happy 4th of July and wave to everybody on the train and let them know that Randolph just loves the fact that we have an Amtrak stop and we can go anywhere we want around the country on Amtrak. Another great American tradition, riding the rails. at this hour and run down to either White River or Bellows Falls or Brattleboro, spend the day, have lunch, maybe even have dinner, and be back here in time to catch the news at night. Amtrak's a great way to travel. It's cheap, it's fun. Leave the driving to Amtrak and use them for your local travel. Center Fire Department towering over Randolph with their tower truck. A little separated from their other truck, but here they are, the Randolph Center Fire Department. We thank them for all the hard work they do and all the volunteer work they put in and keep us safe all around Randolph. Randolph Center Fire Department. float. Gotta love it up there on their big double O express. The Poulin and the Miriam families honors beef and bees made in the USA and Lydia and Lily the Rock are driving their made in the USA team of steers behind the float today, accompanied by Lady Maxim and her horse. Poulin and Daughters, the farm in the West Meadows apiary, hauled by Double J Express. We thank you guys for bringing all the It's the Miriams and their bees along with Poolin and Daughters, these beautiful steers and horses. Thank you. 
Scooper Hooper. Firemen in the USA, look at this. Tractor drivers, teamsters, herd managers, horse riders, farmers, beekeepers, cooks, daughters, mothers, and much more. It's Pool and Daughters. It's Hagen Motorsports, TJ Hagen on this float showing one of his racing carts that's made in the USA. Stockwell's Garage and Towing, showing us their great new tow trucks that support the residents of the community in an auto crisis. They are needed throughout the year. We celebrate all of these folks who help us out in Stockwell Towing and Services. And driving the uh, Stockwell flatbed with, with the eagle on it is uh, Howard. And uh, unfortunately, I needed his services a couple of weeks ago. And I can tell you, they gave me excellent service at a reasonable price and took great care of me. Stockwell Racing and Stockwell's Garage and Towing. Bring your dream on. <laughs> music it is. We celebrate their music. We're glad that it's going to wrap up our parade because it uh, they can stop and play for us. And it inspires foot tapping, dancing, clapping, whatever. Let's hear it for this group, the Bear Mountain Jammers, Larry Broussard.
Scott from our newly organized Randolph Police Department. We thank Scott for all he's doing for the community and all the folks he's recruited. Scott Kluot, Chief. That wraps up the parade, but there's a ton to do. So thanks for being here and stop on down to the rec field. There is John Lackard Blues Band playing from noon until three. There's a bouncy house, face painting. The Rotary is selling food, which is a great fundraiser for the uh, food shelf. Babe's Beer Garden is there. And uh, don't forget the Fish and Game Club Duck Race. So follow the parade right on down to the rec field for a great time. Spend the rest of the day in Randolph. And thank you all for coming.